Hello dear students, welcome to Exeomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net June 2019 and we are doing this problem 13 from the general aptitude part. Let us have a look. The velocity time curve of a body is given in the diagram below. Alright, so it's a velocity time curve of a body. Let us try to firstly study this one and then we will talk about the problem later on. See this axis that is y axis actually representing the velocity and this is the time axis it is representing time now initially what is happening see this angle is 45 degree so velocity is increasing all right velocity is increasing uh, now after this point t1 what happens velocity becomes constant and after this t2 point velocity is going to decrease are you getting my point so this is what is happening so suppose it's a vehicle so vehicle is speeding up up till point t1 then the it 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 it, uh, it, it runs with a constant speed and after t2 point the uh, the speed decreases for it all right now what i want to tell you is this that acceleration is a change in velocity all right acceleration is a change in velocity now in between time t1 and t2 what is happening c in between time t1 and t2 velocity is constant Are you getting my point? I should write dv by dt instead of writing change in velocity. So because velocity is constant in between t1 and t2, this imply acceleration has to be zero. Because if velocity is, is a constant number in between t1 and t2, it implies that velocity acceleration has to be zero in t1, t2, this time interval. Got my point? So it directly proved that fourth option is wrong. Fourth option shows that in between T1 and T2 acceleration has some value. It is not possible at all because in between T1 and T2 your velocity is constant and we know that acceleration is dv by dt that is why it has to be zero. So in one, three and two option C acceleration is given to us as zero. Now let us try to distinguish more option. Now see here what is happening that angle was given to you as a 45 degree. Now if you know that the line y is equal to x, if you know this line y is equal to x, then you must know this thing that y is equal to x line actually makes angle 45 degree with the x axis. Are you getting my point or not? So this line from here to here is y is equal to x. Now since it's y is equal to x, so what is the slope of this line? Slope of this line is represented by dv by dt. Slope is represented by dv by dt. Now you know the slope of y is equal to x line already. It implies from 0 to t1 what is happening is this that dv by dt is equal to slope of line y is equal to x. What is the slope of line y is equal to x? You already know it is 1. So dv by dt has to be 1 in between t1 and t2. Now in the third option it is given that in between t1 sorry in between 0 to t1 what is happening acceleration is increasing constantly. So it is not possible because dv by dt is 1 it means acceleration is 1. So in 0 to t1 acceleration has this value that is why third is incorrect we already proved fourth is incorrect. Now we have to distinguish between 1 and 2. This is what we should do. Now see in between T2 and T3 what is happening? You are getting this thing that uh, this, this line has 45 degree 
on the opposite direction if it has 45 degree on the opposite direction it means that the angle over here will be 180 minus 45 so it is 35 are you getting my point so, sorry uh, 135 not 35 it's 135 now if you notice that the angle the line which makes angle 135 degree with the x axis is nothing else it is the line y minus x is equal to 1 are you getting my point or not so sorry y plus x is equal to 1 not minus so y plus x is equal to 1 this line makes angle 135 degree with this x axis now because we know this fact that y plus x will make uh, this thing so what's the slope of the line over here slope of the line y plus x is equal to 1 is minus 1 that means all right the slope for this line will be still dv by dt so in between t2 and t3 dv by dt is equal to minus 1 the slope is minus 1 there all right so this is acceleration also you can talk about the slope directly from the tangent thing so angle is 45 so we know that slope is actually 10 of theta so what is theta it's 45 initially now what is theta over here this is 135 so it will be minus 1 are you getting my point so using the 10 formula you can also find out the slope all right if you don't know if you don't know this equation then also it is okay for you using the 10 you can easily find out the slope so acceleration has to be negative where acceleration has to be negative in between t2 and t3 in the option a acceleration is still positive so it cannot be correct option it has to be negative got my point so this is why second option is true so this was an easy question totally dependent upon the formula that acceleration is dv by dt and dv by dt actually means slope of the line slope of line and what is slope you know that it is equal to 10 of theta where theta is the angle made by the line in the positive way are you getting my point don't consider this as your theta if you will consider this as your theta then it is actually anti-clockwise sorry clockwise direction in mathematics what happens is the angle is always considered to be anti-clockwise this angle is not 45 it is minus 45 are you getting my point so this is why your second option is true and all other remaining options are false so thank you